And in 5.4, we added a fun new thing called, uh, or we added a project setting for virtual texture pool sizes. And maybe you've seen this as you're flying around in your updated 5.4 projects. You'll see this like resizing virtual texture streaming pool in the bottom right corner, little toast pop up. So what that's asking you to do is go into your project settings and go to the virtual texture pool settings. And it's going to have this transient pool list down here. And that's keeping track of the high watermarks. And it's going to say, hey, copy these values into this fixed pool. So transient, that's only for that session. Fixed pool is the actual thing in your default engine INI. So you can see the high watermark for DXT5, that's going to be like our base color textures. That was 105 megabytes. OK, I'm going to set my high watermark to 105 megabytes. BC4, we got it to about, we needed about 39 megabytes before things got oversubscribed and so on and so forth. Um, I, of course, have turned off pool auto grow in editor because it does hitch a little bit every time it has to do that. I wanted to keep this presentation tight. Uh, and then there's a default size in megabytes. So if you wanted to start out your project and have a really high value of that, you could absolutely do that. Um, but then as we get toward the end of the project, we want to make sure that we are using just as much memory as we absolutely need to um, so that we're, again, making efficient use of, the, of our, our video memory. Uh, because, again, generally speaking, we, we don't want to use a pickup truck to carry around a pebble. Right? That's not an efficient use of that space. But similarly, we also don't want to use, we also don't want to use a, a, a coupe to carry around a boulder, because when we try and fit too much into a pool that cannot hold it, uh, we've all seen this before, right? We all know what this is. This is a dropped MIP. We had to lower the texture resolution so that we could fit everything into our available space.